Are you unhappy? Are you deeply, deeply miserable right now? I'm gonna give you the secret sauce that will instantly remove all of that sadness and all of that misery. In my life, I have been extremely angry at things, extremely upset that this business idea didn't pan out, furious that I wasn't born taller, like a six foot five, really handsome person heartbroken that all of my hair fell out, pissed off that I had to work every single day as a child at a hotel that I didn't care about because my parents decided that that was going to be the family business. Driving around a 1998 Mitsubishi Galant that was the ugliest purple you have ever seen in your life and seeing people in Mercedes and Porsches driving next to me angry that I didn't have what they had. You want to know the solution? You want to know the secret to happiness? It's your expectations versus your reality. If the gap between those two things is too large, your soul hurts. You hate everything because you want this and you have this. Even if you go on vacation, the vacation can be ruined at the simple fact that you go to Santorini, right? And you want a picture of all those like white, blue, ocean, everything. And it's ideal. You get there. And in reality, there is 957,000 people trying to take the same selfie that you are and your image is ruined. You are now upset because your expectations were much higher than the reality of the situation. You were pissed off because this person drives a Porsche and you're driving an Accord. This is your expectation and this is what you have. But why is it that you're comparing yourself to someone that has more experience and more practice and is better off than you are? If you compare yourself to someone better than you, you will be miserable. Now, hear me out. If you slide your perspective over here and compare yourself to somebody that's worse than you, you will realize how fucking amazing your life is. If you compare yourself to somebody that has to wait at a bus stop in the rain, getting splashed by puddles of mud from cars driving by, and you get to sit in your nice warm Honda Accord, you will realize that you have a great life in comparison to theirs. I was upset that I wasn't born taller because I wanted to be a six foot five handsome man. But if I compare myself to somebody that unfortunately got their legs blown off in a war, I'm very happy with my situation. Sorry for his and I appreciate what I have. So if you want the true unlock to true happiness, compare yourself to somebody lower than you on the scale versus somebody that's higher than you. You'll get a different perspective. And sometimes that's all it takes. The further you zoom out from something and you get a bird's eye view of it, the more you realize all of the things that you missed. So there's two options and it's very simple. All you need to do is shift your mindset. Stop comparing yourself to people that are better than you. They've been doing it longer. They've had more practice than you and they're better. Whether they got fed with a silver spoon and financially fed by their parents, or they just started 10 years before you did. It doesn't matter. They are better. They are in a better position. Change your perspective and compare yourself to somebody lower than you on the totem pole, and you will have that happiness and appreciation that you really need in your life, because it's just going to make it better. With everything else, you just need to shorten that gap between your reality and your expectations. So if you expect grandeur and all these fantastical things from a vacation, lower your expectations expectations a bit to something that's standard, that's not a fairy tale. And then that gap will be much smaller and you will be happier on your vacation. And that's the key to happiness. Appreciate what you have by realizing there are people that are worse off than you. Stop pretending that life's a fairy tale and having absurd expectations and bring those back to reality. That's the key to happiness.